are the Clippers the title favorites right now? After just pounding the shit out of Boston, looked really good since the first few little bits in the uh, James Harden trade. Like, they're really, really trending upward right now. Are they the title favorites? Well, I want to say just for the subject of pounding the shit out of Boston. They didn't have their second most important player, who is Christoph Porzingis, as we all know and understand on this podcast. Uh, so that is a huge factor. That said, they did blow their back out. And I don't know if Porzingis would have saved them from that. No way. <laughs> so uh, so uh, what I will say about the Clippers is I think the biggest criticism that you can possibly have or the, the biggest source of skepticism that you could have about them is health. And I, I genuinely think there's anything else you can say to like detract from how good this team is. Uh, I can of think teams, of one. I, I, not to cut off your spiel, but I can't think of one. Their big man play is like... No, the, that's, Zubac, that's but like but the even only, still, like I'm just Zubac saying, is, is anything to be very good. Of. Yeah, but like, do, do they need that? I think that's the question. It's just just like a thing. (laughs) It's not a super big strength. But it's like, it's criticizing, criticizing their big man, uh, big man play. It's like Zubats isn't great, but he's still very good. Like Mm -hmm. I would say Zubats is a very good player, not an all-star. I'm not going to like say, oh, you know, impact wise, he's an all-star, like blah, 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 plus minus, whatever. Like he's still very good. And I think honestly, I think the Clippers could almost be touching, like tapping into something new of like, we've kind of gotten lulled into this idea that you need some superstar big man because that's kind of been the meta lately. Like, you know, Giannis, Jokic, you need like these massive super skilled bigs to to win. And while I still think that is like an acceptable way to build a team and a, a perfectly viable way to become a contender, I think the Clippers are kind of like zigging while everyone else is zagging where they're like, okay, we have all these really good players. Maybe we don't need like a, a, a super, super amazing center. Maybe we can just get by with the Zubots. Maybe we can just get by with a Daniel Tice as our backup. And I think potentially some teams are going to realize that and be like, if it works out, obviously this is all, this all means nothing if it, if it doesn't work out. But like right now they're third, they're third in half court offense and they are second in half court defense. And typically the biggest signs of a contender going back over a decade Mm -hmm. is being top 10 in half court offense and top 10 in half court defense. The Clippers are top five, top three, Mm -hmm. top three. Yeah, you're right. Top 12. (laughs) Wait, they're third third third. in half court offense. Yeah. I mean, this team is about as good as you can get, like genuinely about as good as you can be. Yeah. And plus that, uh, that stat includes the pre James Harden trade part of the season and the early James Harden trade part of the season. Yeah. If you go, if you go post James Harden trade only, it's probably even better. Their uh, pace is uh, remarkably low, which I think is uh, good for translating to the playoffs. 26 out of 30. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. James top Harden, 10 slow in, pace guy. In pure terms of points scored and opponents points allowed, they're top 10 in both of those. Uh, this catch-all stat that Basketball Reference has, their SRS, their, their top three. Uh, so yeah, I mean, true or false, are the Clippers the title favorites? False. Why? I, I don't go ahead. I'm not I'm not putting anyone over the Nuggets until someone's beat the Nuggets. That's my even with that's... Jokic kind of taking a step back in terms of efficiency as a scorer this season, even with their roster, you know, being Rudy. as delicate as it is. What? Oh, Rudy, Jokic, come on. Jokic is gonna try harder in the playoffs. Yes, 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 exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yes, he will. Uh if you, you we're gonna argue injuries, we're we're leaving injuries and as, as a non factor here for us to talking about the fucking clippers so you can't go what if they're not healthy like yeah if the nuggets are not healthy the clippers are better if the clippers are not healthy the nuggets are definitely better i'm just saying both healthy right now i'm picking denver alex what's your answer true or false i i would say false but only and i say this as someone who's probably like i'm probably higher on the clippers in the postseason than i am on own favorite team the thunder like i would take the clippers over the thunder in 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 the playoffs right now just assuming health and you know in a vacuum so to speak uh i'm not i'm gonna say false but only because i feel like the west is if you're a top four team like wide open i think any of the top four teams in the west could end up in the finals and i wouldn't be surprised thunder timberwolves clippers nuggets any of those four teams could go to the finals and i'd be like that doesn't surprise me what about the east i'd have a twinge of surprise if the timberwolves did but that's it i'm not allowed to say people get mad at me if i yeah 
I don't know why. You're the Timberwolves fan, and people have a gun to your head. I'm able to say whatever the fuck I want about the Timberwolves, and no one cares. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Our next true or false is: uh, Can the Lakers still win it all? Going. It actually. Out? It actually wouldn't more. surprise me if the Timberwolves, you know, next year won 78 games and were the best team of all time. It wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but let's go to the other Minnesota the team, Lakers. The Lakers. Yes, <laughs> the Minneapolis Lakers, my favorite team of all time. Yeah. So uh, this season, after beating the Warriors last night, they're officially twenty-four and twenty-three. Unless basketball reference isn't up to date, and they're actually twenty-five and twenty-three. Um, but I think that's right. Okay. Okay. Good. You know that happens sometimes, where it's like basketball reference refreshes at two p.m. or something like that. <laughs> um, but does this Lakers team? even stand a chance at winning a title still they still have lebron they still have ad they're apparently getting De giorno not delivery murray for d eventually uh what is this team a potential championship team at all oh, false. even in a long shot you know what's really concerning to me is that d'angelo russell has been playing very well lately yeah and they're still bad yeah they were trying to escape they were like acting like d'lo was the problem and then he starts cooking and they still suck <laughs> i'm curious i'm gonna look real quick what his last 15 games are because like i'm pretty sure he's been like genuinely fantastic yeah i could be wrong and over in no, I, rem- like I, I, I have seen this it's definitely yeah. been pretty solid <laughs> d'angelo russell in the last 15 games is averaging 22 points, 50% shooting from the field, and 50% shooting from three on eight attempts per night. He's averaging six assists on two and a half turnovers. Like, he's been really good, and the Lakers are still bad. Yeah, here's those numbers on screen for anybody watching at home. That's fucking crazy. I had no idea D'Lo was popping off like this, and they're still determined to trade him for DeJounte Murray, apparently. Should the Hawks want D'Lo? <laughs> should they not reroute him? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck that's about. No, the Hawks should not want Mo. <laughs> it's a terrible player to put next to fucking Trey. Talk about zigging when everyone's zagging. No one's putting D'Lo next to Trey Young. <laughs> no, that's zogging, bro. That's just nothing. <laughs> Uh, I love that. That's insane. Um, but yeah, Alex, true or false, the Lakers still have a chance to win the title this year. Alex seems stressed about this. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm thinking I'm thinking about, you guys brought up the D'Lo and like DeJounte Murray thing, and I was just like thinking about that. But um, I don't know, like the Lakers, the thing is, we've talked about this before, and like I've kind of used the same talking point, but I, I use it so frequently just because it's true. It's like the Lakers could end up making a bunch of trades at the deadline, and like teams will do the random random thing that they do where they're like yeah here have good players you don't need to give us anything it's fine <laughs> and they end up being a good team it's like pre-trade deadline lakers and post-trade trade deadline lakers are probably going to be vastly different teams but as currently constructed i would say no i think false I think but that's, that's pretty- like subject to change based on the trades they make it's like out of the bajillion years lebron has played like how many teams has he even been on where we're like yeah there's no shot they win a title other than like the first what two seasons in cleveland <laughs> the first lakers season it seemed like mm, it was that's like right. yeah they're yeah, not they're, they're not got hurt team. in the middle of it right that was like his, the the legroin year it was like they're already I turning so, downwards yeah. and then he pulled his groin on christmas <laughs> I, mean, I believe after, they were the after seed. what was it like um what did he, he had a funny tweet that was like uh zero brawn 30 or something like that yeah <laughs> what, like, what was playoff it playoff mode or something yeah, like playoff that. Mode, had zero this bron- funny had, <laughs> Had this funny tweet saying, my grain, my grain, my groin is indestructible. And then it just didn't age well at all. <laughs> Have you all had like a, a genuine like groin strain? Yeah. Before? It's what, one time in like middle hurts school, dude. Yeah. So bad. Yeah. Like I, I couldn't walk. I think I got one playing basketball, ironically. <laughs> Just the real LeGroin was the friends we made along the way. Uh, what about? What a sentence! <laughs> what a sentence! Someone what are quote, you talking? About? Quote him on that. <laughs> uh, true or false? Uh, the Warriors should blow it up. 
after mm. the comments they made, uh, Steph Curry made earlier this month about like if nothing happens at the trade deadline, then he's not gonna like know what's going on. Clearly, in my opinion, if the Warriors decide not to move on from one of Clay or Dre or both, or make some kind of upgrade using Chris Paul and Kaminga and Moses Moody, something like that, some major move, then Steph Curry is gonna be unhappy in Golden State for maybe the first time in his career, and we're gonna know about uh, it. I feel like I don't know. I think this is kind of a long shot thing to hold out for, but it might be truly the only option because i feel like if you trade everything on the warriors roster besides for steph unless you truly just do an a plus job of orchestrating that roster otherwise you're probably still not going to be good enough so i feel like you might need to wait until like a genuine like if not superstar but like at least very very good player is available and then put all your chips on that hmm, and like that, a that siakam, perhaps <laughs> no not like a pass like better than a pascal siakam and like that guy is just not available at the moment. Uh, so I don't know. I think in a year when uh, the Phoenix Suns are just not working out, they should trade for Kevin Durant. <laughs> Alex, uh, your thoughts? I was thinking about that because I was looking at what the Nets got back for KD, and I was like, the Warriors genuinely could have been an offer that could, could have put in an offer that competed with that. <laughs> that Especially when hilarious. stock tanked. I'm going to say false, but simply because of semantics, because I don't think they can blow it up with Steph Curry. Like, to me, if they're going to blow it up, that would entail, like, trading Steph. Okay. Yeah. And I don't Patrick, think, like, to me... But Steph. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically, should they trade literally everybody on this fucking team, fire their coach, uh, and hire retool? Um, yeah, but Steph Curry if is. If that is the question, there. then true. True for me as well. All right. So I just don't see there's. I don't. Think, I don't think there's any recovering. I think this shit's dead. I think it's over, except for Steph. Steph's the only guy who's still alive. Everybody else on this team is a zombie. Let's take a look at some of their team stats this season. Their second leading scorer is Clay Thompson at 17 and a half points a game. Uh, shooting 38.5% from three still, not totally washed, but allegedly his, oh, yeah. uh, his I thought you were going to say from the field. Like, now. Yeah. Uh, and then we got Jonathan Kaminga, who started about 16 out of the 42 games he's played this year, averaging 14.5 points. So uh, the drop-off is pretty steep. Andrew Wiggins, not close to what he once was. Dario Saric quietly putting up 10 points a game. If you got Dario Saric in 2024 putting up 10 points a game on your team, then you're not good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no no offense to Dario. Process legend, you know. <laughs> Dario's but, been good. He's like one of the only decisions they made this offseason that didn't suck. <laughs> yeah, and that's crazy. That's yeah. not the moves yeah. of a of a of a good team. And they need to transition into being a good team. So I'm on the same page as you guys. They need to blow it up, asterisks, not including Stephen Curry, maybe including Steve Kerr, but I, I feel like a lot of uh yes. Stephen Curry and Steve Kerr comes together. I feel like you're gonna piss off Curry by firing Kerr, so you keep Kerr. I don't know, man. I think I think Steve might be a cooked product, as the kids say. Mm. 